Welcome commanders, generals and even field marshals. Now, there's something that I'm worried about. That field over there it doesn't look quite right, does it? What, what shall we do? We could, we could send some people over there and, and have, a, have a look. Could, could we? I, I don't know. Something's bugging me about it. I think we need something special. Oh, a tank, you say? Well, I guess we could send a tank, couldn't we? But I don't like it. You, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yes, I think that field is mined. So what should we do about it? Well, I think we should go to Urban Construct. Yes, got this at Vatten Attack um, earlier in the year before the lockdown happened in York. Um, uh, a great little show, I would call it a little show, apart from the hundreds and hundreds of people there and loads and loads of traders. It's really, really cool as an event. But here is what we need, I think. This is one of... How would I put it? Is it Hobart? Is I think that's his name. I'll, I'll do some research. I've seen not a great depth of knowledge, me. But I think they were called Hobart's Funnies. I think it was um, uh, a set of, how would I put it, specialist vehicles and vehicles that were um, upgraded for specialist tasks. And this is a kit to upgrade your Sherman, or other tank, I guess. I, I, I think it's Shermans that are often used for this, with a kind of weird, wonderful flail to... Uh, Beat that field up and see if there's any mines in it. How how good is that? I think that's ace. So let's have a look inside and see what we've we've got here. Nice and easy to open. Look at that resealable baggie, which I think is going to be very useful because there's going to be lots of individual little bits in here. From what I remember, having a chat with the guys from the company that make this upgrade kit. So it's not a tank as such; it's the upgrade kit to a tank that you already own. Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like. Very impressive looking, don't you think? Marvellous. So essentially, you make this frame up here, goes onto the tank you've got already, and that looks like a Sherman to me. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. There we go. Not that I'm an expert. Brilliant. That's very helpful. Um, oh, there's the actual... Oh, I like those instructions. They're... Um, look. look at those. Not your CAD, no. It looks like they've been drawn. It's just ace. Oh, I like that. Very um, atmospheric. Let's see what we've got inside. We've got uh, ooh, a resealable baggie. As I say, very helpful. So there we are. We've got some sort of ooh, hello, ooh, ooh. Okay. So we've got lots of framey bits. There you go. Very technical, me. So these will form, I'm guessing, a frame down each side of the the tank. That looks to be some ah. That's got loads of holes in it. So a closer look there. Loads of holes, as you can see, and that will be where the little flail cables go in, or the, the flails themselves, I guess. And then, oh, a rounded piece, some sort of axle is that? I don't know. Oh, we'll soon see what these are for. There we go. So that's essentially the frame for the, the flail, and that's going to go onto the tank. So put those aside, and then we've got loads these look at this oh my goodness me i probably messed it all up putting it <laughs> oh wow there you go flails superb and there are loads of them um i thought oh i'm gonna have to bend them all and stuff no they're already bent so obviously you can bend them differently if you want that's super ace isn't it there are loads of them there's like 20 odd in there. So there we go. Simple in its design. I think it's going to be an interesting modeling project to put them together. So shall we have a go at that? There we are, commanders and generals post-build before the paint job. 
very animated, I think it looks. That's how I would describe it. Um, it took a little bit of a time to put together. Not not, 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 not an unpleasurable time at, at that, but uh, I needed to put the flails and chains in one row at a time. Um, to kind of balance them up a little bit so that the gravity seated them in properly and then moved on to the next one. I think they're very clever of you out there and people cleverer than I might just drill them in. You make a hole big enough and, and, and prod those uh, prod those chain ends in and glue those into place that way and uh, probably make it easier but uh, I will make I will make work for myself won't I? Um, but uh, I think it looks great. Um, I have not glued it to this here Rubicon Sherman. There we are. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to be carefully because I've only just finished it. So it might not be completely dry yet. So uh, the bit, uh, if, <laughs> if one of the flails comes off, I take no responsibility for it at this point because it's totally my fault. And uh, there we are. Uh, have we got away with it? We might have. We might have. That's great. So yes, I let, left the rhino blade or set of blades on the front of the tank there because actually that supports the the middle um, the middle strut there uh, and that means it goes onto the tank without me having to glue it on so I can remove it put it back on for different for different games so um, this is very much a piece for scenarios and stuff like that isn't it so I might not want to use it all the time though I'm very keen and eager to use it and that means I can use my tank for other things the scales perfect um, yeah, it shows you actually from both companies they make a uh, what what looks to be um, a very coherent 28 mil uh, 156 type scale as well. So I think that reflects well on uh, Rubicon and um, Urban Construct. So uh, I think it's time to put a bit of paint on. Do you think? Yeah, let's do that. There, it is complete. Very animated, as I've noted. Brilliant. Really uh, took the paint well. A uh, very simple paint job I've I've done, and as I will often note to you, commanders and generals out there, you will do far a better job than me. I am confident it's um, actually quite robust. I was a bit worried about it being fragile, but um, you know, you should, I think you still got to be careful with it. But it's 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 glued together quite uh, quite strongly, I think. So uh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So uh, I'll, I'll wrap it up and put it in a. In the box as it as it travels and then if, if anything breaks on it that's fine because you get five spare bits just in case you ever need them or just glue the old bits back on i'm sure they won't go far will they so there we go there is my urban construct mine flaying uh, hobart's funny attachment i i think maybe it's called i don't know <laughs> but uh, yeah go and have a look at the website for um urban constructs they've got some really nice um and, and odd and wonderful bits of, uh, of of military hardware to scale that that might interest you. So, when you are approaching a field, and to the side is a little sign saying "Achtung Minen," you know what to get now, don't you? Take care, everyone.